Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be talking about Google's project called Starline and why it has the potential to change the way we interact with each other online. So what exactly is Project Starline? It's essentially a series of infrared sensors and cameras strapped to a large TV. It was designed to create a sense of realistic presence. When you sit in front of a Starline device, the system captures your appearance and movements from multiple angles. This data is then sent to the recipient Starline device, which provides you with a three-dimensional representation of the color on display, creating an illusion of a face-to-face -face interaction. While it's difficult to explain the concept on a video, the early adopters of this technology described the experience as one of looking through a window at the person on the other side. The Starline project has actually been teased by Google over two years ago, and the company has since refined the product enough to be able to display it at this year's I.O. event. Now, why is this important? Why am I so captivated by the prospect of such a device? With the world gravitating more towards working remotely or from home, many of us are still getting used to working via video calls. Being on Zoom or MS Teams calls all day has become part of our daily lives. But it isn't quite the same as being physically together in a meeting room. Have you ever had an online meeting that didn't go too well, to then have it again in person and was so much easier and so much more efficient? It's partially because there's a part of our brain called the insula. It is responsible for a wide range of everyday activities, emotions, and interpersonal experiences. When we're physically together, the insula receives a ton of sensory input from our own bodies and from the body language of the person you're talking to. This helps us to form a coherent perception of being in the same physical space and a sense of togetherness. Unfortunately, traditional video calls do not provide us with the same set of sensory signals and therefore make us feel more distant, no matter how good your webcam is. But what does Starline do exactly to change that? First is the direct eye contact. Unlike the traditional video calls where you always seem to be looking off to the side a little bit, Starline's camera setup allows for direct eye contact at all times. It's a crucial social element that is often overlooked and that can really make you feel like you're actually talking to someone. Another major difference is spatial audio. The Starline microphone and speaker system captures the direction of your voice and therefore imitates the feeling of talking directly to someone versus talking off to the side. Lastly, and most importantly, it's the depth information. The reason why we're capable of perceiving depth is the fact that each eye views the world from a slightly different angle. Our brain is then able to integrate these disparities to create the perception of depth. When we're physically together, this is exactly what happens, but it's also impossible to recreate on a traditional video call. Google Starline solves that by projecting different images to each of your eye, sort of like 3D movies work, where different information is received via the blue or the yellow tinted lens. This time, however, you don't need to be wearing any wonky glasses. Lastly, what can the Google Starline be really used for? Google's piloting the project with a few external partners such as Salesforce and T-Mobile, and the current focus seems to be on the professional collaboration tool use case for the meeting rooms. The product is still in its infancy, and it's probably really expensive. I can't help but to imagine the world where immersive displays become the norm, not just in the meeting rooms. Imagine having a mirror-like display at home, where you could meet your family and other close ones. Imagine having a Starline-enabled TV at home where you could immerse yourself in the worlds of your favorite movies without the need for 3D glasses. Imagine having a Starline laptop or a desktop where you could meet your colleagues while you're working remotely or from home. I could not be more excited for technology such as Google Starline. They have the power to make our online interactions more personal and to improve the collaboration around the globe. Finding ways of improving the way we interact online is a subject really close to my heart, and I'm really happy that there are companies like Google trying to push what's currently possible technically. Would you use an immersive display like that? Let me know. Anyway, thank you for joining me on this deep dive. If you made it to this part of the video and you enjoyed the content, hit that subscribe button to see more in the future. Catch you in the next one.